I are going to try and start building our fairy, fairy garden. garden. So we have a lot of the same stuff. A cute little welcome sign. A cute little welcome sign. Super. We cute. have a little like what do you call this? Like mailbox. It looks like a little birdhouse almost. Yeah, a little birdhouse slash mailbox. If we go through every one, it's gonna take forever. You've got a gnome. You took the fairy on the seesaw. <laughs> Stinker, another fairy gnome, wishing well, little slide hedgehog. Your favorite, and the slide's your favorite? The slide's one of my favorites too. What else is your favorite? And this. That house is super cute. I don't have that house. Yeah. Alan Bear, don't get in the pool. So these are all mine. I have a lot of the same as Lennon's. But we traded um, this. Yeah, we only had one bridge, so she let me have that. I forget what I traded for you for that. Uh, I think it was a hedgehog. Oh, the hedgehog. Been injured by my dog, <laughs> and we got it. 87 pound dog. We got it on video thanks to Lennon. Carlos thinks it's the best footage that's ever been caught on camera. Lennon recorded what is the greatest video we've ever got. And uh, oh my god, it's good stuff. Yeah. Play it again, right? Here. <laughs> One more time, right? Here. <laughs> Now this time, slow motion. <laughs> with audio. Slow, slow motion with the audio. <laughs> and all they wanted to do was do our fairy garden. Oh. <gasps> See? I told you. It's so like <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're using for Lennon's fairy garden. We got some sedum that we're going to use as the base around the fairy gardens. We also have some moss that we are going to use to fill in. You could use fake moss as well, but this is real moss. Then we have some of these that we used to use as like little furniture lifters. Holder upper? Yeah, but I thought that- Thingamajigs. I thought that Lennon could use these to add some levels to her houses, and then we can put like moss around them. I'm flipping the moss over. To the green. You could flip the moss over to make it look more like grass. And then What I did was I added another one of those things for the levels. I added another one and put some more moss over it. Am I, am I allowed to use a succulent? A succulent? Uh huh. What succulent? Do you a want? little one. I'm gonna plant it then. It's gonna be on the side as a tree. The park's gonna be at the start of the neighborhood. Actually, at the end of the neighborhood. This is where the end of the neighborhood is, so everyone can see that there's a park for all the little kids. So every park basically has this, a slide. Because I'm going to put it right over near that house. Because those girls live at that house, and they're coming over to the park. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the girl right down here and then there's gonna be a little rabbit and um, a little um, 
porcupine sitting together at table. Here we have the welcome sign to the park, and then I noticed every park has to have a tree, so I have <laughs> a little tree here. Oh, that's so cute! I love your fairy garden. This is a bush. That's a bush, and that one's a tree. That's so cute. And then this house got this, Oops. and then this is this other welcome sign is for the park part. And this is just for like the picnic area. That's the bathroom. That's really cute, And bug. they can just walk over there. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that little village. Isn't that cute? That little frog getting away. Get on away, buddy. Come on, little cool. Just put the frog in the fairy village. Make sure the other succulent gets a little bit of water. There you go. With, at least with succulents, you don't need a lot of water. Yeah. They like just a little bit, right? Yeah, and that's good for people who don't like to water their stuff. <laughs> yeah. And forget to. Yeah. I know <laughs> That's why we love succulents. Oh my god, look at that bruise showing up on my head or that bump. Oh this fairy garden experience didn't go quite as magical as I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Real life. So I'm going to do my fairy garden probably tomorrow or later on when my head isn't completely throbbing, but she wanted to get her fairy garden done, which I think she did a really cute job with hers. Oh my God, though, look at that bump. Ah! Thanks a lot, Alan Bear. So I decided to try and make a little pond for my fairy garden. And what did you say about my pond? That it needed, it we needed, need blue. we needed bluer ones. So we went to Dollar Tree. We got this stone. We got these pebbles to you make some. You can get them in white or black. Yep. So we're going to make some little paths with the pebbles and then redo my little pond with blue. Yeah. And then our fairy garden should be done, right? Yep. Yeah. We did add some of these little wood chips. And that, where are they from? Those were from Hobby Lobby that I had already had on hand, though, from a previous craft. Where are you making it go to? Um, to lead to this picnic table. Lead to the picnic table? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like it. it looks good. 
So that's the path so they know you can come here. Are you going to make another path somewhere? Yeah. So a path from the house. I love that. So it also leads to the welcome sign. Love. So they know they can go straight through. Might make a little pond because I know where I can make it. Like right back there. Oh yeah, that would be cute. I am going to switch out my marbles to the blue ones. Do you love our fairy garden? Yeah. Me too. I wish we could keep them forever. Well, like out here forever. Why can't we? We can? Well, what else are we gonna do with it? <gasps> what do you think we were gonna do with them? Get ready. We would take everything off and then throw it away. Why would we throw it away? That would be silly. I know. Yeah, I'm so excited. There's also a path to the bathroom. That's your pond? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're gonna outline the pond with some rocks. I like it. You don't want it to flood the house. Uh uh, get back, Alan Bear. I might have. Alan! Oh no! Again. This is his third time. Uh uh, stop drinking the water. Uh uh, Alan, no. Stop drinking the water. Third time in the pool today. Oh, Alan Bear. What are we gonna do with you? Okay, so my fairy garden is complete. Up on the highest level, this is like the king and queen fairy, right? That's their little table where they hang out and then they dry their clothes back there. That's the little, no, that's a little birdhouse or mailbox. And then the little welcome sign. One of the reasons I wanted to use sedum in my fairy garden was that it, as it grows, these little things draped down so I thought they would be pretty to drape down and be like little vines that the fairies could crawl up if they don't feel like flying. I may cut some of them down but I wanted to go ahead and let them grow a little bit more for now. And then on this level is the park. the park. So we have two sides to the park. We have our little pond in the middle. This one telling you to go this way. You're welcome into this side of the park where you can enjoy some fun on the slide, hang out in the gazebo and have a picnic. And if you need to use the restroom, there's a little outhouse to go to the bathroom. And then on this side, we've got another little welcome. You can sit in the leaf little chair swing, not swings, I don't know what that would be, like a, like a teeter-totter almost, in the magical forest. We have a fairy making a wish at the wishing well. Or you can sit in the back and wait for butterflies to come visit you. Then on the lower level is basically the fairy neighborhood. We've got the little strawberry house back there. These two houses share the little clothing line. Then a little welcome to this little magical house. I love this house too that already has welcome on it. Got a little owl hanging out on his perch. Some welcome signs, another birdhouse, and then these two houses. So this is starting to grow, and they'll start kind of draping over this way. Lennon's turned out so cute. Her little pass, she's got her, oh, she did a good job with her little pond back there. I love the little fairies on the seesaw, so cute. You made a sign? No fishing. No fishing. Oh, that's adorable. Look at you, bug. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out our fairy gardens. I'm so glad we got to do this together. <laughs> it was a little bit of a process, but now they're like perfect for us, right? Uh-huh. I love them. Me too. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and we will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.